It's now time for everyone's favorite new game show, What to Tell Your Spells. And now here is your host, DJ from Yankee Dabbler. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to America's favorite game show, What to Tell Your Spells. That's right. This is America's favorite game show for the model train enthusiasts. And we give you the answers to all their questions about your railroad. So we're going to get started with our first question of the day. So get ready. Your spouse notices a $600 charge on the credit card statement. Do you A, say the engine you bought will double the value of the house. B, say that you okayed it while you were drunk. C, say it's for the kids. Or D, say it was fraud. We'll tell you the answer right after this, because if you get it right, here's our first prize. And this is a newest ESU decoder, not the newest one, but it's the most popular one that is out there on the market today. This is the 21 pin decoder from ESU. We got a whole bunch of these in. A lot of people love these things, especially if you're turning those DC uh, trains into a DCC engine and you want it to have sound. This is the one that you want to go with. Now at ESU, uh, rather, is selling these uh, decoders for, let me see where they are, $109.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $87.99. That is a great deal. And what we do here at Yankee Dabbler is if you want the sound included into the decoder, what you do is on the website, you go to the shipping. Uh, under shipping, there's a little tab there that says comment. Type what sound file you want on there, and our technicians will get that on there. And so when you get it in the mail, you'll have a decoder, sounds program, ready to go. Put it in and all aboard. So come in the Yankee Dabbler, go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Get this decoder on your railroad. I think you're really going to like it. And of course, if you answer the correct answer was D, it was fraud, you're a winner. So congratulations, you passed that one. Now, let's take a look at a new engine that we have here. It's not actually a new engine, but rather it is a reconditioned engine because we have these engines here from Anthern that are things that we've actually taken a look at before. These are the SD60M Triclopses, and these are great looking diesel locomotives. Now, I'm going to explain what I mean by reconditioned. So there was a factory defect on these locomotives where the trucks are actually were falling apart. And what I mean by reconditioning is there was actually a factory defect on these locomotives on the side frame right here of the trucks. And they actually were falling apart, exposing the wheels. And so a lot of people complained about them. So therefore, Atherin actually sent out a repair kit that I have right here. So you can take a look here. Here is the repair kit. And what we did is we actually had our own technicians put them on all of these SD60M triclopses to get them as good as new. They've never been run before. We just fixed the defect and we are ready to sell these locomotives. And we're gonna pass on some savings to you because of the recondition. So these locomotives retailed for $339.88. We were selling these engines when they were brand new for $288.99. But since we have repaired these locomotives, we're going to knock down that price a little bit more. We're going to sell them here for $249.99. It's a great deal to get on a fantastic engine. They are as good as new. Actually, they're better than when they were new because that defect is fixed. Now, let's take a look at them again, especially the Norfolk Southern engine. That's just a great looking engine. Of course, they call it the Triclops because as you can see in the front, I got three wheel or three wheels, three windows rather. Have one W word for another. But these are just really nice looking diesel locomotives. We've had them here on the show. So I'm not going to go into too much depth about running them. If you want to take a look at one of the previous episodes when we did this. But I am going to run around the layout just for a little bit so you can hear what they sound like. So all aboard. We got the Union Pacific on the rails. So all aboard. Here we go.
So again, this is a great deal, and I want to reiterate these. They have never been owned before. They have never been run before. We fix the factory defects. So they are repaired locomotives. Two forty nine ninety nine. You can't beat that. So come to Yankee Dabbler or go on the website and get one of these engines on your layout. I know you're going to like it. All right, it's time for round number two, and here is our question. If your spouse asks you if that's a brand new locomotive, do you A, say, yes, don't you like it? B, say, how pretty you look at that moment? C, fake a heart attack. Or D, say, no, that's been there forever. Let's go shopping for jewelry. We'll tell you the answer right after this, but here's the prize if you get this right. And these are from Walters. These are 89 foot bi-level auto racks and these of course are open frame auto racks here and these are really great looking cars here i love the look of these things of course i have the pennsylvania the bnl erie lackawanna i have here the santa fe then of course can't mistake that jade green that penn central look let's bring over these over just a little bit more i have here the union pacific and finally the norfolk and western I particularly really like these cars and I like the road name that these cars have because these are kind of old school railroads. You got Baltimore and Ohio, Pennsylvania, Erie, Lackawanna. And these are just really neat looking cars too, especially if you want something that's a little bit old school, but you can put some cars on here to be seen. I think if you get a couple of cars here, and I know Walters makes a whole bunch of cars you can put on these uh, auto racks, I think these will look really great going around your railroad. If we go in for a little closer inspection, as you can see, some of these actually have, well, I was on that side too, but has the logos of the railroads in different places. This is the B&L one that's right there, or of course, some of them have it down below. Each railroad was different and they all customized. So these are just really cool looking cars here. And I guarantee you probably don't have anything like this on your rails. Take a look at the undercarriage there. There's a lot of great detail on these cars too, okay? Now the retail value. For these cars are, and let me see if I got it here, they sell for $39.98, and that's a pretty good deal, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $31.99. It's a great deal to get on these cars, die-cast metal wheels, they glide on the uh, rails. And of course, if you answered the correct answer, which was, no, that's been there forever. Let's go jewelry shopping. You are a winner, and one of these is coming right to your door. So come to Yankee Dabbler. Get these on your railroad. All right, so how you doing in our game? Are you two for two? Let's see if you can get to round three. Your spouse says not to work on the model railroad too long. So do you A, say, okay, it will only be five minutes. B, pretend that you can't hear them. C, bring up a grudge you've been holding since 2006. Or D, just call the florist ahead of time in anticipation you're going to mess up. It's D. All right, and we got a brand new diesel locomotive that we're going to take a look at here. We actually have an expert that's got to talk all about it. So through the magic of the internet TV video thing that we're doing here, I'm going to disappear. Hi, I'm Ken from Yankee Dabbler, and I'm a huge fan of the Delaware and Hudson Railroad, which used the GP39-2 type diesel locomotive a lot. So I'm going to run you through the basic history of the locomotive on the Delaware and Hudson and some others. So starting off, these engines, at least some of them, actually weren't built for the Delaware and Hudson. They were built for the Reading in 1975 or 76. They were delivered to the Reading right before the Conrail merger. As a result, they didn't really spend a lot of time on the Reading, but they were delivered in Reading paint. They very quickly got patched to Delaware and Hudson, which gave them the seven number at the front instead of the three. This locomotive is patched for the Delaware and Hudson, and this is one of the former Reading engines. Now, they eventually got around to repainting them into the Delaware and Hudson's iconic lightning stripe paint scheme. This is a representative of one of the former Reading engines painted in the lightning stripe paint scheme. Then, in the mid-1980s, Guilford took over the Delaware and Hudson and ran it for a few years. This is a representation of one of the GP39-2s in the Guilford paint scheme. This is actually not from the current run, but from a previous run that we still have in stock at the shop. So buy it now while you can. After Guilford, the engines lasted on the Delaware and Hudson until around 1991 when they were sold to CSX Transportation. This locomotive is a patch job of a Reading locomotive that never got repainted. 
and it is in, in the CSX patch running paint scheme. And this locomotive is a, is a built for Union Pacific GP39-2. The Delaware and Hudson actually did have some that were sold to Union Pacific, but those were different. This locomotive is a Phase 3 unit, which you can tell is a bit different than the others we were showing, which were Phase 1s, by the spacing of the two rear radiator fans. And that's a basic rundown of some of the GP39-2s that we just got in stock. Hope you have fun and uh, well, enjoy them. Really interesting insight in the history of those locomotives, and let's hear what the lightning stripe paint scheme sounds like. So let's let's go with this one. Here is the horn. The bell. And away we go. Some open frame autographs. All aboard. Wow, that actually sounds really cool. I'm a big fan of the GP units there, and I think that's a really great looking one there. Now, this is an Athern engine. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. And this locomotive retails for $299.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Delaware for $250.98. I'm sorry, $254.98. That's an awesome deal for that as engines. I think what Ken was telling you about the history of the Delaware Hudson and how they've owned them from the Reading and Allward, I think those are just really cool locomotives. They have a story. You can get all of them and kind of create the timeline of the history of that engine. So come to Yankee Dabbler, check them out. I don't have a ton of them left, but I know if you get one, you're really going to like it. All right, so it's time for round four of our game. How are you doing so far? These questions are getting harder, so listen up. You're supposed to be going to work, but instead you went to the hobby shop instead. Now, do you tell your spouse, A, you're getting them a gift, B, uh, pretend you went to like Macy's instead, C, you question their shopping habits, or D, pretend you don't speak English. We'll tell you the answer right after this because here is our prize here. Right from Lionel, we got a couple of really neat cars here and I gotta turn this one on here. This is the Cars Aquarium car. As you can see here, there is a little band in there that has a Lightning McQueen that goes around the car there. And this is just a really cool looking car there. As you can look, I have various characters from the movies in there. And this is just really cool, especially if you have a young fan that likes Pixar, or maybe you're a collector of Pixar or aquarium cars. I think this is really neat. Now, of course, is this prototypical of anything? No, it's fantasy, but I think Pixar is just, does such a great job with their films here, and the line now has license now with it. we got some really cool cars coming out. Uh, we're going to be getting some more in the near future. So I really like the Cars car there. So if you have a Cars fan on there, check that out. Another animated car that I have here is the Monsters, Inc. Chase Gondola. And this is one of my favorite uh, cars that Lino comes out with here. The Chase Gondolas, what you have here is you have the three characters from the movie, Sully, Mike, and Boo. And what happens here is as the car goes around the track, the characters actually will chase each other. All right. So as you can see, they're kind of going back. I'll go this direction here. And you can see the characters are moving around the car here. And, of course, at a high speed, they'll go a lot quicker than they're going right now. I'll bring it over here a little bit more so you can see them make the turn. 
So there goes Boo. And what they do is they just go around the car there, and Mike and Sully are going to chase after her. And this is a, such a cool looking car there. We have a lot of subtle uh, Easter eggs from Monsters, Inc. For example, if you take a look at all the various warning labels here, talking about, you know, uh, you know uh, being afraid of children. You have the Monsters, Inc. logo here. Do not feed the dispatcher there. We have here the scream meter. I mean, this is just a really cool looking car. If, again, if you're a fan of Monsters, Inc., Pixar, you have a kid in the family that likes these movies. It's just really cool to see them put on them. And again, is this prototypical? No, but it's always fun to have a little wonder and whimsy on your layout. So coming to Yankee Dabbler, get these cars on your layout, especially if you have a young Pixar fan, because I know they're really gonna like them. The Chase Gondola sells for $84.99, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $76.49. And then the car's aquarium car here is a little bit more because it has a motorized motor in there. This one retails for $119, but we're selling it for $107.99. So get, come to Yankee Dabble, get these cars. You know, uh, it's the first time that Pixar and uh, Lionel have uh, teamed up together. So I'm sure probably in the future you'll get some more cars here. But usually what they do is they do a run of a specific thing and then that's it. So if you like these cars, get them before they you can't get them anymore. And the correct answer to our question, of course, was D. Pretend you don't speak English. Okay. Works every time. Time for the final round here, but before I read the question, we're going to take a look at what you're playing for. Here is the grand prize. We have these GE C44-9Ws. Woo! Look at these engines here. These are from Scale Trains, and I love the way that that... Santa Fe engine looks there. That is just great. And that warp on that paint scheme. And ooh, take a look at this weather job. This is a Santa Fe that has been patched for the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. And as you can see, this is, as my wife would call, rusty dusty. This is all weathered. Obviously, this is towards the end of the life of that paint scheme there. As you can see, even the Steps are weathered there. They look like they're rusted. This is a pretty, as Engineer Hall said, this is a work of art here. This is just a really cool looking engine there. Yeah, absolutely right. Now I got the Union Pacific, and of course everybody loves that paint scheme there. Not much more to talk about there. And if you want something a little bit different here, we have a Norfolk Southern C40-9. A little bit different design there, but this is a really cool looking engine nonetheless. Now, Scale Trains does a phenomenal job with the detailing on these locomotives here. They have some of the best looking diesel locomotives I've seen in HL, and I think these are no exception here. You're really gonna like these things. Now, these come equipped with DCC sound, everything that you would expect from a normal Scale Train diesel locomotive. So you're tired of hearing me talk. I know I am. So. We're going to take a look at what these look like, and I think we're going to take a look at that work of art in action. So that was the startup sequence. Here is the home. We got the bell. And away we go.
I like the dish lights that I have in the front as well. That looks great. Alright. Let's pull another one of these auto rack frames, shall we? Track number one, train number Rusty Dusty. Engineer Hall needs money for trains. Wow, that is a really cool looking diesel locomotive. And I think as, again, it is it is a work of art. This is see the way that it looks weathered, it looks tired, it's beat up. And it's a really great looking uh, sounding engine too. I love that engine rev sound. So you're really gonna like that. Now you're probably wondering how much this engine costs. These engines retail for $343.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $274.99. I love this engine. I think it sounds great. It looks great. There's nothing more that needs to be said. So come to Yankee Dabbler, go on our website, get these engines on your railroad. They're not going to last long. So as soon as you see this, get in your cart because you're going to be upset you missed out. And if you answer the correct question, answer here rather to this question, well, you still have to buy it, but still, hey, just keep going with the game here, all right? So the final question in the game of what to tell your spouse. Your spouse says you're spending too much money on trains. You A, say, well, the trains don't talk back to me like you do. B, start a fight that will just never, ever end. C, contemplate leaving your spouse and marrying your trains instead in Vegas. Don't do anything out there. Or D, Say that your dog got control of your credit card and it, for whatever reason is buying a bunch of stuff on yankeedabbler.com. You have 10 seconds to think about the answer. Good luck to you. All right, and of course, as we all know, the correct answer was D. Say your dog got control of your credit card. So how'd you do in our game? Did we give you some excuses? Let's see how that works out for you. All right, well, thank you very much for tuning in to our latest episode of What's New Here at Yankee Dabbler. We got new things coming in all the time. Uh, check out our website. It's continuously being updated and new products being added. So hopefully, if you didn't see anything you like here today, Hopefully you'll find something in the future that you like on our website. Or of course, you can always visit our store in Belmar, New Jersey. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. I want to thank you very much for watching. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to see all the newest videos that we have coming up and the ones that we have coming up in the future, like the Spring Layout Spectacular. Woo! -hoo! I know, right? Yeah. It's got to be awesome. So if you don't know what the deal is, what you do is you send a video or a photograph of your uh, layout to engineer hall channel at gmail.com and we hopefully will get uh, you on our show we'll do a uh, we'll take a look at your layout we'll see maybe some of the new improvements you made maybe we'll get some new people here uh, it's gonna be great so stay to uh, you know stay tuned for that we're gonna do that in the springtime so get those uh, those videos to us let's say by Easter time so get those videos to us or those photographs we would love to see your layout I want to thank you very much for tuning in here and again. And remember, the next time you buy a new brand new locomotive and you're thinking about trying to find a way to get it into your house without your spouse knowing, remember, the bigger the jacket, the bigger the item you can take in. All right, take care, everyone, and thank you for watching.
love to tell you this class. Until next time, bye-bye.